Welcome to 2015. As you know, our share responsibilities change as government and interjurisdictional regulations evolve. In 2015, we have a couple of big changes. These include IRP Full Reciprocity Plan and FMCSA Unified Registration System, or URS. In this video, we will highlight these changes. First, FRP. IRP Full Reciprocity Plan grants full reciprocity for all apportioned vehicles for all member jurisdictions. As a New Jersey-based registrant applying for or renewing a portion plates in 2015, you will get a complete apportioned vehicle cap card with all 59 jurisdictions. Since your new cap card will have all IRP jurisdictions on them, you won't need to go about adding new jurisdictions. Yay! Less paperwork, less trouble. FRP starts January 1st, 2015, but IRP requires a transition period. When you get the new complete cap cards depend on when you renew your IRP fleet registrations. Or when you're starting a new New Jersey IRP fleet operation. Existing fleets will get FRP for renewal registration taking effect after January 1st, 2015. Just like in the past, fees are apportioned based on distance actually traveled or using the jurisdiction's average per vehicle distance chart. You must use actual distance actually traveled if you had any operations during the distance reporting period. Either actual or average distance is used, but never a combination. Just one or the other. Remember, 2015 is a transition year for existing fleet. The old rules apply to you until you get new cap cards with all jurisdictions listed. Any new fleet effective on or after January 1st, 2015 will reflect full reciprocity immediately. New fleets are not subject to a transition period. Just like for renewing fleet, actual or average distance are the only alternative under the evolved plan. The distance rule is simple and applies to all fleet. If you have actual experience in the relevant distance reporting period, you must use actual distance. Otherwise, our system automatically applies the average distance based on your certification that these are truly new operations. The IRP distance reporting period, or DRP, is always July through June, with the year depending on the fleet effective date. This is clearly outlined in the plan itself, and the definition for DRP is not changing with full reciprocity. Registrant must maintain compliant records. While this is not new, FRP will place a greater emphasis on the registrant's record keeping. And you should know that the IRP plan dictates mandatory sanctions with when a registrant do not maintain adequate records. Adequate means appropriate and sufficient. Know these terms because inadequate records could become very costly for the IRP registrants. Please realize we are simply do not have the authority to excuse bad record keeping, and you, the registrants, are responsible for understanding all IRP conditions. Okay, that was the big change in IRP. Now let's talk about FMCSA Unified Registration System, or URS. FMCSA is simplifying filings. URS is a new online system intended to simplify your life by combining six different forms that carriers, freight forwarders, and brokers currently use to register and update the FMCSA information online. A smart form. URS applies to all interstate motor carriers as well as other stakeholders involved in interstate commerce. Some provisions of the new rules have already started. The online filing system requirements becomes mandatory on October 23, 2015. At that point, the option to file paper updates will no longer be available. For example, URS includes MCS 150 biannual update. If you don't complete these updates, we cannot renew or add new vehicles, period. If you have any questions, please visit FMCSA online and don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.